Hi, and welcome to my facial wipe challenge. How many of you out there use an everyday facial wipe to take your makeup off and to cleanse your skin? Um, they're good if you want something quick and easy, but actually how clean do they leave the skin? Well, here is the test and I'm gonna show you. So this is a facial wipe. Now I have full base makeup on. So as you can see, I like to be really nice and rough. This is a facial wipe just suited for all skin types, so it's taken off lots of the makeup, which is brilliant. And then I'm also going to use a separate one to take off my eye makeup. I have um, just everyday makeup on, so it's taken off quite a bit, which is great. And I'm going to use this, I haven't got waterproof mascara on, so it should actually take this off. So I'm just going to take off my makeup. And these do say you can use them on the eyes. As you can see, it is taken off quite well, which is good. Do you have to be a little bit rough though. You do have to use a bit of force to really get that off. You see, I am pressing quite hard, really. So I do wear a lot of makeup and it has taken off quite a bit of it, which is good, as you can see. So I would say, Apart from a bit of eyeliner still on, without really over rubbing my eyes. So with what's on these, it looks like most of my makeup is off, which is good. So I'm just going to do a quick test to actually show you how much it took off and how much it actually left on. So I'm now going to use the Vitamin E cleanser from the Body Shop. This is a, a liquid cleanser. The Vitamin E is great for all skin types. It helps to feed, nourish and condition the skin. So a bit of cleanser on. So I'm just going to go over my skin. See, some people, once they've used a wipe, they do um, use a separate cleanser to double cleanse. But if you're just using a cleanser on its own, that should be enough, as in a liquid cleanser like this. You shouldn't have to use a separate product too. So use my wipe, and you saw how much came off there. And now I've just used my cleanser, and look how much more is still on. Yuck. Okay, and my eye makeup. So I'm going to take the chamomile eye makeup remover and see what's been left on my eyes. Now I can see quite a bit, but the difference is I don't want to have to be scrubbing my eyes. I was pressing quite hard when I used the wipes. And if you use quite a gentle eye makeup remover separately to your cleanser, it will just take off those extra bits without having to press too hard and this uses um, community trade chamomile which is actually locally grown from Norfolk so I haven't pressed very hard but look at the difference that that makes wow and yes I do use a lot of eye makeup but I would expect my product to actually take it off which it has so I've cleansed the skin which is brilliant some people now may just go on to use a serum or their moisturizer how many of you actually use a toner? A toner is um, the product we use after cleansing the skin and this will help to take off any last traces of cleanser left on the skin and also what that may still contain. This also helps to hydrate the skin or if you've got an oily skin you would use one to actually help to absorb excess oil. But what your toner will do as well, it will just help to refresh and refine the skin but it's like that final rinse if you were to use a washing machine and just to wash the clothes and didn't actually do a rinse you'd still have all the dirt and the bubbles and everything in it so that's why you would need to still use a toner too so i have cleansed the skin and i have toned after using a wipe the wipe didn't take huge amounts off it looked like it did but actually when i went to take more off again look how much was still left on there so which do you prefer just use a wet wipe and assume it's all cleaned or actually use a proper cleanser and toner and an eye makeup remover i know what i use every night so that's nearly the end of my challenge um, um following this i would then use an essence lotion at the moment i'm using the drops of light and an essence lotion helps to um put some hydration back into the skin this one helps to brighten the skin because of the red algae that's in there and it also helps to activate the skin ready to receive the rest of the products too so i'm just going to let that soak in 
and I will then follow it with the Drops of Youth Essence Lotion and my all-time favourite product, Drops of Youth Sleeping Mask for an extra bouncy and refreshed feeling. So that's the end of my challenge. Um, you try it and see what you think. Thank you. Bye.